Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender 2.8 training series and today we're going to be looking at how to model uh, this scene here. This is just a, a sewer tunnel. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are going to do a lot of texturing and uh, I think that is the most uh, important part of this tutorial because the shapes uh, that I were used to model this tunnel are very easy. Uh, the modeling the modeling part is very easy, uh, but uh, the texturing is a bit more advanced. Uh, that's why we're going to spend more time on the texturing uh, than on the modeling. So the modeling part, I'm just going to be uh, mod showing you how to model the more complicated parts. I'm not going to model everything from scratch. I'm not going to go uh, step by step on everything. I'm just going to, go to show you how to model uh, the things that I think uh, would be a little bit uh, difficult to model, uh, but uh, something like uh, this tunnel here, which is just a, a, a cylinder uh, with the bottom part uh, dilated is not that complicated. So I won't be explaining how to do that. I will just show you, do it and uh, you can see from there. Uh, but uh, let's examine what we're going to be doing anyway. So uh, I would want to play this, but uh, uh, my, because I'm recording, OBS won't be able to, to show you anything. Uh, my PC can't handle that. So I'll turn off ambient occlusion, uh, bloom, uh, this screen space reflection and also motion blur and fold matrix as well just to show you uh, the animation you can see obvious is also is still struggling with this let me switch to look dev and see if it can handle that better yes mm, let's see let's see let's see maybe switch off lights for now yeah so I think this is so this is the turn we're going to do and you can see how the, te the texturing uh, looks and uh, let's go to this and uh, you can see how so this is just uh, this cube here or rectang rectangular cube uh, is just for the volumetrics at uh, render volumetrics uh, so not, it's not that important in the modeling part but uh, uh, the, the other thing you will notice is that uh, the way I did this is uh, I made everything modular so if you want to extend this tunnel to go on forever you can just use an array system and uh, increase uh, the array count uh, to whatever you want and uh, that's so this is just this part you can see is just uh, the uh, the walls of the tunnel and uh, but uh, the sewer is not part of this of these walls you can see the sewer is separated uh, from are from the walls uh, let's go to the texture mode so that you can see you can see even the water is separated from this and uh, it's not carving with the with these uh, with these walls uh, because it wasn't necessary for me to carve that because my I wasn't planning for my animation to go that far I just wanted uh, the tunnel to carve off so that uh, the camera doesn't see uh, the opening of uh, the, the it doesn't see the end of uh, the tunnel so but if you want to, you just add, if you want to carve it, you just select uh, the mesh uh, the, uh, and uh, add a curve, the curve array, S sorry, add the curve modifier and then select the curve. So I think it's the only curve I have here. Oh, I have more than that. I think it's, let me change the direction. So you'd how to figure out uh, the direction of uh, these settings for the curve. I have a lot of tutorials on how to, to set up this. Uh, so I want, let me just show you maybe for on this here. Uh, so you just play around with the rotation and the deformation axis until you get the right axis uh, for the rotation of your, for the carving of your uh, sewer. So yeah, let's, start on the modeling maybe when we get when we start working on the array i'll show you how to carve uh, this one as well but uh, just uh, this part i don't i didn't want to start working on the, the difficult parts yet i just wanted uh, to introduce you to the series and uh, then in in the next part we can start modeling uh, the other things uh yes yeah, so see you in the next tutorial uh leave a like subscribe and uh yeah, if you want to get to download the project file, uh, you will find it on my Patreon page. If you want to download just the materials, uh, those you can download them for free. I'll be leaving uh, a link in the description uh, for you to, get, to access. 
to download uh, the materials uh, but uh, the project files you have to be a patron to download them uh, anyway let's uh, i'll see you in the next uh, tutorial uh, where we start uh, the modeling part thank you